Hello and welcome to the Celebrity Millennium. Would you believe that I've been on this cruise ship four times? I'm sailing right now with my family and I'm going to give you a tour around all my favorite spots. I'm going to show you the upper deck area where I'm here. I'm going to show you the ping pong tables. I'll show you the buffet. I'm going to show you the different restaurants, main dining room. I'm going to take you into the VIP area, into Lumine. I'll show you my room tour. I'll show you a balcony room. I'll show you an inside room. I'm going to just show you all my favorite spots. I've been on this cruise ship three different times on three different vacations. I think this will be the very best tour that you'll see of the ship. Let's go check it out now. Is this thing? You know, I've made a lot here. Hi. How large this account. Let me just show you that. Alaskan cruises, you can learn about the whale. Watch this. Oh my God. Sorry. Let's just start on the upper deck. You can see this walking track around here. Life pro tip, you gotta take a lap around after dinner. Here are the different pools that you have on the main area. Well, there's a pool right there. You can see a hot tub over here, a hot tub over there. They're flanked by two other hot tubs and another pool. That one does appear to be larger. However, However, my favorite pool is actually inside in the solarium. So let me take you in there now. Looking in from the outside, this is this indoor solarium. What's the benefits of this? Well, the benefit is that, you know, any weather you have, you can just relax in the warm area of the solarium. And this is a unique thing on the Celebrity and on some of these other class ships of this size, look at that art over there, that they have the indoor pool hot tub area. Let's go there now, it's down right this way. Okay, I went inside and down one level, and this is that solarium. Immediately as I walk in, the temperature is just so much warmer. Let me put this up a little bit. Now, if you're coming in here, you may wanna secure a seat early, because you can tell, now this is a sea day by the way, so all the seats are filled up because people are enjoying. There's not a lot else to do on a sea day. The views, we're on an Alaska cruise. The views in here are nice, but it's just a nice vibe. And you've got the hot tub. Behind the hot tubs though is what's called the spa cafe. Let me go look and show you the spa cafe. It's also where the juice bar is, and there's some healthy eating options over here. They're not out right now, but sometimes, especially in the morning, you can pop over here to the spa cafe and get some food options that are laid out over here. And the juice bar, which is right back this way. It's closed now, I'll try to come back later. Let me just think. What I wanna show you is my room, and to do that, I need to rewind to the day that I just came on the ship. I'll show you a tour of my room, then we're gonna go look at the gym. Nobody's in there, I have the whole thing to myself, and we'll pick back up, watch this. Deck nine, room 119, that's me. Hello. Okay, before you judge me that I have an inside room, please know that I'm on vacation with my family. We have three rooms, and I love the inside room because I think I sleep so well and I'm by myself, I'm fine. I don't mind an inside room. Don't judge me. I will try to show you a tour of my parents' room. They have the balcony. I think my sister and her husband have a balcony as well. But let's look around. Now, one of the first things I noticed, I've been on this ship three times, it's my third time, is that the rooms have been refreshed. And one of the ways you know that they've been refreshed is that there's USB ports next to the bed now, which is on my hotel videos, something I always look at. So let's look over here. I will show you some of those connections right over here. Now, I love to see this because as you can guess, like I'm a YouTuber, I'm always on my phone and it's just nice to see. Now, even if they're old school USB connections, I love those. All right, nice little thing here. I can turn this on, turn it off. We got some drawers. This is nice, it's easy, it's basic. Uh, something else for the nerds that I'll show you is these side ports. You, for the first time, have access to these now I haven't looked to see whether we can control the ports and switch video inputs but on the television if you're bringing your own Roku stick or something like that could be interesting inside room what else to show you the mini bar is here now my mom always tells me she's like just take this stuff out of the mini bar and fill it up with your own stuff so 
Maybe we'll do that. But here's the things that are in the mini bar in case you're curious. We have some different drawers over here. I notice another power plug with more USB ports right here. Two style American and European. Now I personally love a good desk like this and I love a room desk to get a little bit of work done. What else? These drawers are standard. Do you guys want to see inside? By the way, if I haven't already asked you yet, will you please give me a nice little like, give me a comment on this video, tell me when you're going on the cruise. I make these videos for fun, for free. They're not sponsored by anybody, but I'm just obsessed with cruising. Let's peek inside. Did I get bathrobes? Oh, I am so happy that they included an umbrella. And my sister said that she actually found binoculars. What the heck? No bathrobes. Maybe it's in the bathroom. My sister said that her room had binoculars. I brought my own binoculars, but she said her room had binoculars. By the way, look how you control the temperature. I would prefer a digital thing, but that's fine, whatever. Into the bathroom now. Let us take a look at the bathroom. You know, this is a normal cruise bathroom. If you've been on a cruise ship before, then you're not gonna be complaining about the size of this because you know exactly how it works. This is fine. I'm okay with this bath. I don't care. I'm on a cruise. I love cruising. Just take me to the buffet. You know what I'm saying? But this is fine. And I, God, I love being on cruises. What else should I show you guys in here? That's it. I think that's fine. This is an inside stateroom. Let's go explore the ship. There's so much more to see and we'll explore. Just let's see where we end up next. The gym is literally dead empty right now. So I'm going to give you a tour all around and I'll show you the gym here on the Celebrity Millennium. This is all the cardios. Now this is pretty standard on a celebrity ship to have all of the cardio equipment right here. However, a little bit sad. Look at the sad Pelotons over here. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but on my cruise, all the Pelotons are tucked away with a sign that says currently resting. I don't know when they'll be back. It is nice to see two rowing machines here. So for those of you that like that, let's look over. Okay, we see all the other ellipticals. So if you're thinking about ellipticals, there's plenty of cardio machines and wow, on a sea day, will these ever be filled up? But let's take a look now at the weight machines. Here's abdominals. This is leg extension, seated leg curl. Look, there's a lot. I'm not going to get too much into these because you're either on the ship to eat and work out like me or just to eat, which if that is you, by the way, I don't judge at all. I love to eat on the ship. Um, I did a class in here that was a spin class yesterday. It was not the best, but it was also fine. I'm looking to see if, make sure nobody hears me saying junk about it. It was fine and actually challenging, and I'm glad that I did it. It was only $20. Um, more cardio equipment, more weights over here. You can see more weight equipment, and then I'll show you the free weights. Now, let me just poke over here because a lot of people don't know about this area that shows some of these medicine balls. They have a foam roller that's tucked away, hidden over here. And then all of this equipment for stretching and things like that, which I really appreciate. I was shocked to see how many kettlebells there are. And there's these here, but I swear that there's some other ones. What is that device? I don't know what that thing is. Um, and then the free weights. The free weights, which I'll show you. Many different free weights here. They are in pound increments, as well as, can you see behind me here, these free weights as well. So there's even lesser free weights in this area. I would say that I really do like this gym. And I've been on a lot of cruise ship gyms, and cruise ship gyms are always just great. Now, it's nice now because there's nobody here. It's 12 o'clock on a port day. I already just got back. I will continue and walk you. You know what? Maybe I'll show you now the secret sauna that's in the men's restroom because nobody will be there. It's in women's as well. Come over, I'll show you. It's right outside the gym. So it's this way as you walk out, not in there, past this door. Man, I should really film all my tour today because nobody's here. 
but look at this. I hope nobody's inside here. This will be very awkward. Men and women both have this area. This is your changing room outside of the spa area. And look at this. How cool is this? This is free to use a full sauna. Oh my God, it's so hot in here. I actually, oh, I wanna come inside there right now and go and relax. I always say that I need to use more saunas. Um, very neat perk, you do not have to pay extra for that. It is available to all, both sexes. The women's one is back there and almost nobody knows about this. I would not be surprised if I am the only person on YouTube to be showing this secret sauna. I'd like to think it's a secret. Now look at the beautiful, oh my gosh, the view on the solarium right now on a beautiful day. I will finish this, I'll do more of my tour uh, when it's at night to try to show it to you at night, but the solarium during the day lives up to the hype and literally to the word solarium. Quick note about two things. Number one, the basketball court on the very, very top floor has now been changed to a pickleball court. Now that court up at the very top, it's multi-purpose, multi-sport, but most of the time you're going to see it being used for pickleball. Note that. Number two piece of advice is that if you like to play ping pong, I would bring your own paddles and balls, and here is why. They remove the paddles and balls outside of the hours of 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So today I wanted to play some ping pong. It was 6 p.m., but they had removed all the free paddles and balls. So if you like ping pong, bring your own paddles and balls onto the Celebrity Millennium. One more note. I am an author. I wrote a book. It's called The Two-Hour Cocktail Party. If you have ever wondered about how to meet people on a cruise, how to uh, meet your neighbors, how to host a company happy hour, this book, just look it up on Amazon and I'll show it to you real quick and then we'll go back to the cruise. This is the book. I promise you, you're going to get a nice new copy when you buy it on Amazon. I'll give you a satisfaction guarantee. It is so easy to read. It's filled with chapter checklists. It is extremely practical and tells you the exact scripts to use on how to invite people, how to prepare your home. I promise, even if you're just hosting a birthday party, a baby shower, a housewarming party, this book will help you. And you can read the whole thing in an hour. It's a fast read. It's called The Two-Hour Cocktail Party. I wrote it. I spent over like $50,000 of my own money as like a passion project to do it. I promise you... The book will help you out, satisfaction guaranteed. All right, let's go back to exploring the cruise now. Let's explore more of the ship. And in order to do that, we're gonna start at the very, very top and work our way down. One of my favorite rooms that has excellent views and a really fun area to look around is right here, the Sky View Lounge. Now, the Skyview Lounge today is going to be packed, but just know that I'm showing you what your real cruise experience is going to be like. We're on the 11th floor, by the way, all the way at the very front up here. And the Skyview Lounge in the morning and in other times can be an excellent area to come for some alone time. But now, on the last sea day, it is packed full of people. The views out the side are fantastic. Look how tall these windows are. And at night, it's a nightclub to come up here. But during the day, in the morning, you'll have the whole place all to yourself. Look, she's on the stage right now. They're all playing some sort of game, I think. Okay, she's on stage over there. I hope she doesn't heckle me. They're playing a game, so I'm gonna leave this space. But you can see, this is the Skyview Lounge, a really nice area with tons of room to come check it out. Now, one fun fact I don't think you'll see in any other video is posted up here in the Skyview Lounge, you will be able to find a view of where your cruise ship is going. They do this for every cruise, the route of where the cruise is going. You can see we started down here in Vancouver, and on my cruise, we're going up to near Anchorage, up to Seward. Come up to this area to see a map, a live map of where your cruise is going. That is one tip you won't find anywhere else. One note right outside of the Skyview Lounge is this famous sculpture. 
Now, Celebrity Ships used to be known a lot for their amazing art collection. I think they've sold some of it, but they still have nice pieces like this. It could be a great photo op. One of the hard things, though, is that it is so backlit with all of this. So my pro tip is come here at night to get a better photo when the flash will look good with this background image. I'm laughing because I chose like the worst day to come do this tour. Okay, one other area that you get as a retreat or a suites member is access to this retreat lounge upstairs. And there's a hot tub and it's a sun deck. Let me show you what that looks like right now. This is the retreat sun deck. Now just to put in perspective where we're going, we're up here. There is that uh, area I showed you with that hot tub and the pool. Look, we're at the very, very top here. I'm gonna go up to the retreat to show you once again the VIP. I'll scan my card right here. The magnet opens up and I'll take you back into this area. We've really enjoyed having access to the retreat. There have not been a lot of people at Lumine and the food was by far the best. I know it's not open to everybody and your budget might not be able to afford. The first many years that I was cruising, I did not afford this stuff. Now, frankly, to be honest, I can only do it because I'm here with my parents and they're paying for everything. Don't judge me. Okay, let me just show you. Look, there's nobody up here right now because the weather's kind of not nice, but that's the hot tub. I want to show you that that's the hot tub and this whole area you can have access to. I'm gonna go back downstairs now. Fun fact, nobody else will show you this. Up here at the retreat, you have your own suntan lotion. So in case you need aloe vera or mineral, which is SPF or regular for 30, they've got it here and it's right outside for you to pick up in case you forgot your own. This is the Camp at Sea program, which is for the kids. It's located here on the same floor. Um, I'm not allowed to take pictures in here because there's kids and they're underage, but this is the area for your kids where you come in. I'll show you a little bit that's saying, okay, I can't take pictures, but I can show you this, which is a little bit of the schedule. So can you see here? Here's some of the schedule of what is available for your kids. I think that this is one of the best things of coming on a cruise is that you can actually have childcare which is really nice. And here's some of these activities. I'm sorry if it's not clear. I hope that this is helpful. It shows you the different things. And the kids are, the kids are back there, but I don't want to get in trouble, so I'm going to not do that. Okay, let's keep going. I just got a text from my sister who says that she wants my card for the casino credit. So I'm going to go down here and give it to her. Now you may notice that I am Walking down the stairs, I'm going all the way up from 11 down to the casino. So I'll show you a tour of the casino, but I want to note why I'm using the stairs. Let me adjust this. I'm using the stairs because whenever I go on cruises, I love to eat food and I eat a lot of food and I make a promise to myself to not use the elevators. Well, that's oftentimes very hard. I'm on the ninth floor from my room. And it's easy going down, but oh, it's a lot of work going up. I feel like that little bit of exercise gives me the excuse to order dessert sometimes for dinner. I'm down here on the fourth floor. This is where the casino is. I'm gonna take you, I'm walking through the art gallery right now. Here's the casino, take a look inside. You know, I've made a lot of cruise videos and if you haven't already, give me a subscribe. I go on cruises all around the world. And I never film the casino because I never go inside, but several people said, we want to see the casino. So now I'm giving the casino. There's my brother-in-law, his name is Aaron. What else can we see here? Let's see if we can find my sister. That's the goal. We're gonna walk around. Now, the casinos have many slot machines. You can see people playing on these slot machines here. They also have some poker and some blackjack tables set up. You can see this is a roulette wheel. They've got the roulette wheel going. There's a craps table that's over there. Here's people playing roulette again. This is a poker, people playing poker over here. There's my sister. Oh my gosh, okay, she's in the pink. So let's come and wave. Hello, Emily. How's it going? You won. $100. How did you get $100? Holy smokes. Good job. All right, well, subscribe to her channel to check out her trips. This is my family. We're here. Mom, what did you get? Oh my gosh, my dad got this money. $85. Holy smokes. 
All right, well, I'm posted up in the casino now. This is, of all the cruise videos, there's my sister, Emily. Of all the videos, I've never done one in the casino before. So if you enjoy this, if, if you are going on the casino, let me know down in the comments, say hello. I'd love to have a comment. Let me know when you're going on your cruise. Let me walk around and show you a little bit more inside the casino. And then I promise we're going to see the restaurants, the theater, and so much more. Okay, starting from the very back of the casino, you can see all of these machines. And now I'm gonna take you over this way, back through to where I was. Now, one thing that I'm noticing is, is that it's mostly the machines. And I guess that's normal, right? Because it takes less labor and less people working. There's my sister sitting where we were. This is the bar area at the casino. Over here you can see people playing their card games with the various dealers. There's some sort of bingo set up over there. And then I'm gonna walk around this way. Now later at night, this area opens up when there's more players for people to be playing the games over here. And you know what? That's it really. That's all that the casino is because it ends right to the back there. Let's go to the next area of the ship now. The retreat. Now this area is open to suite customers, which uh, look, I'll be honest, my mother signed up for a suite so I have access to it. That is a little known fact that only each crew is about 10 people. Even though I have an inside room, you can pay extra to add some other members to have access to this area. That is what we did. Let me, they're about to close the buffet. Let me show it to you real quick, right over there. Let me show you the food that is set up over here in the Lumine. Now here's some gluten-free snacks. Over here, the gluten-free scones, which is interesting. Let me just switch my view. Ooh, those look so nice, right? And then we have some other sandwiches. Pretty good snack selection. Now these are open at the buffet here in the, not Lumine, what is this? This is the executive. Mom, what's the name of this lounge area? Retreat. The retreat, this is the retreat. So we're inside of the retreat and this is the retreat waiting area. They also have back here a little cafe where you can get some coffee and help yourself to some drinks. You can get espresso drinks over here and then you can get from the refrigerator over here. Let me show you what they have inside. All these sodas, by the way, check out the ginger beer. Very nice. Different sodas available. And then this side is all waters. I've really enjoyed the San Pellegrino and the Perrier and the water bottles. Welcome to the shops on the fifth floor. Come on with me and I will show you a little tour as we walk through this area. Now, the shops on any cruise ship are a little bit interesting. Does anyone ever go and shop here? I do not, but let me show you what's inside. We have some different purse areas. Here's some watches that are for sale. You can see these watches. This looks like it's a Mont Blanc shop. There's a lot of jewelry. You can see more clothes that are over there. I see some Crocs that are for sale. As we walk around, wow, what is this? A designer handbag area? Now this jewelry, by the way, I actually do want to get a necklace from there and I'm going to come back a little bit later to get that. Uh, they had an interesting deal. Here's some perfume, the perfume that is set up. We have a lot of perfume on display. Hello, how are you? Good, thank you. Now we're walking all the way over to go to the main dining so I can show you that, but you have to get through this area. We are basically directly above the casino on the fifth floor. This is more jewelry, more areas. This place is called The Collection here. Let's keep walking. This is where you can book your next cruise, the future cruise section. You'll check that one out for sure. Some Apple products in case you need a new laptop. You can buy that over here. Look, you can see my selfie stick. Oh my gosh, we're ending up right near the fifth floor cafe, which was on my list of things to show you. So let me show you this, come walk. On the fifth floor, this is the cafe where you can get the best coffee and they serve little snacks and little desserts, but you can line up right here to get an excellent espresso. You can get it with oat milk or soy milk, regular milk, whatever type of milk you want, but you have to come if you want the best coffee on the ship. It is an extra price. So there's free unlimited coffee at the buffet, but this is your premium coffee that you can come and check out. 
This is a little bit more of a look at that coffee area. You can see right over here is some snacks at all time. Can I just squeeze over? I'm just gonna get a picture of this. You can see some of these desserts that they have on display. Look how nice those look. And then right back here, the double espresso machine. Similar espresso machines that you would find in like an Italian cafe even. Look at those. Cool. That's the cafe on 5th. Check it out. This is the gelateria that I wanted to show you and you can get premium ice cream samples here. High quality gelateria. Now these are not included in any beverage package. You will have to pay extra for these, but I wanted to note it is directly opposite the coffee. So opposite the coffee, the coffee is right over there that I showed you and the gelateria is located right here. This is Sushi on 5 for sushi, sashimi, sake, and more. Come inside and I'll show you a little bit. It's the premium fish restaurant. If you like sushi and you want to come on the ship and you're willing to pay for premium dining, then this is where you want to come. Sushi on 5. I've actually heard from people on board, I did not try it this time, that uh, the fish was really good and they really enjoyed the experience, so check it out. One thing I'll note though is that your view is not too nice. Look outside here, your view is of like the emergency life vest area. So it's not the best view, but at night it probably doesn't matter. You should definitely come here. The restaurant is only open for dinner. I'll show you the menu. Let me grab this real quick. I'm gonna grab this for my cameraman and I will show you what's on the menu. Come take a look at this. Right here, you can see what is on the menu at Sushi on 5. Metropolitan Restaurant. This is main dining, and I'm gonna go in on the fifth floor. So if you're eating dinner not at the buffet, you'll be coming into the Metropolitan. There are two levels to the Metropolitan. There's number four, which I'll show you over the railing, and then this is number five. Now, when you choose your dining time, I'm actually curious, let me know in the comments, what dining times do you like the best? In the past, when I've cruised with some of my friends, they have wanted to do like late night dinners, like 8 p.m., hello. For me personally, I have tried on this ship the 5.30 dinner, and even the 6 p.m. dinner, I kind of like it a lot. Oh, do you see what's right here? Do you see these butters? Celebrity is unique in that each night they do different butter spreads and different butter options. You are gonna laugh at me, but me and my friends play a game on the cruise called Guess That Butter, and we don't allow the chef, is this the nerdiest thing ever? We don't allow the little, the waiter to tell us what the butter is. We say, oh, let us guess, and we try to guess it. Look how nice these tables are. Look at this right here. This is, Pretty nice, very nice views. Wow, huge main dining. It looks so nice. Now just look down over the railing so you can see how large this expansion goes down into the fourth floor with those incredible floor to ceiling double height views in the back. Let me just zoom in so you can see, wow. That is so cool that I can see that, that's so nice. Okay. Here we are, this is main dining, enjoy. Oh, now's an appropriate time to tell you about my controversial cruise hack. I'm gonna tell you though, I order a lot of appetizers and multiple mains. And many people think that, oh, when you go on a cruise, you can only get one appetizer or one main. Well, not me, you can order unlimited. So I order a lot. And I think about that the servings are a little bit smaller, but I focus on my proteins. And so if there are multiple things, now I never waste food, but that is something you can try. Go to town, get three appetizers, get four appetizers if you want. Let's continue the cruise and I'll walk around the ship. Lumine is one of the premium restaurants that you get as a suites resident. Let me take you inside to have a look and see, now by the way, if you're not sweets, you can still go down to the blue area and have food down there, but this is the Lumine where you can eat. It's very, not a lot of people in here. There's not, you know, it's only for the sweets people, so it's a smaller type area. The view is fine. I will say, I will say that the menu is very nice here and it's nice, but main dining, if you're just doing main dining, trust me, I have done this for years and the food is fine. It is great. 
and that is all you need. But if you're doing the sweets, you got a lot to look forward to because I really did enjoy the food here. I'll try to show you a menu later tonight at dinner. This is Lumine, and also do not miss the Blue restaurant down as well. Now, right across from Lumine here is the Rendezvous Lounge. And it just so happens that right now they're playing some music inside the Rendezvous Lounge. So please allow me to take you inside so you can see some of this band. Wow, it's probably getting louder and harder to hear me, but I want to show you what they're doing. Look at these people dancing. This is so nice. You're going to have a great cruise. Look how much fun they're having. Oh, that's so cool. I'll zoom in a little bit. Really nice. Now, in this lounge area, we're on the fourth floor, is where you can come to hear some live music by these people and maybe cut a rug on the dance floor. Let's keep walking this way. A lot of people are just lounging out here because the views are nice. You can see right out there, you can see the ocean, everybody just hanging out. There's also similarly a nice area directly above this on the fifth floor. This same area up there is very nice and it's a lot quieter. There's no live band. So if you're there and you just wanna read a book or listen to some headphones, that is where I would recommend you go, is up to five. And it's over by Cellar Masters, okay? So Cellar Masters on the map is what you look for for that more quiet area. We're on four right now, though. Let me walk out. There's the entrance to the casino, which you saw before. But I'll just peek to show you this open area. Oh my gosh, look how crowded the bar is. People, this is a sea day, so everybody's out and about. Now there's guest services. Guest services down there, right down this big stairway. And this is the, the big lobby. I mean, I haven't talked about this. I will mention it though. I mean, this is a smaller ship. If you're used to some of the newer, huge ships, that is not this ship. This ship is smaller and it's fine. We're touring Alaska. Maybe by the time you're watching this, the ship is in Japan. Maybe it's back, it's doing the Caribbean. Where is your cruise gonna go on the Celebrity Millennium? Please let me know down in the comments because I'm curious. I did this cruise, by the way, on a crazy route. My first time ever was going from, I think Vancouver, Canada, to Tokyo, Japan. It was like an 18 day cruise, 16 of which were all at sea. It was wild and it was so much fun. I love Transatlantic and Transpacific is even more rare. Let's keep walking around the ship, let's go now. Right outside of the casino is this little area called the Olympic and inexplicably there's a very real uh, ship's bell and I'm gonna make the noise. If you have kids, maybe you wanna bring them here. Maybe you don't actually, but it actually makes, watch this. Oh my God. Sorry, I'd like to apologize for how loud that was. Isn't that random? The theater. We're going in on the fourth floor. Now the theater will be open tonight. There's a Broadway show that's playing, but I'm gonna just give you a look inside. There's different shows that are playing here every single night. Sometimes there's magic shows, there's comedians. I'll give you my suggestions about exactly where to sit for the best areas inside of the theater. Now note that when you walk in on the fourth floor, you can walk up to the upstairs. I like some of those seats. You can also walk down here to what we would call the orchestra or the pit type seating area. It is a very nice theater. They make presentations in here that are academic in nature on Alaskan cruises. You can learn about the whales. You can learn about bald eagles. Those were some of them on ours. But they also do your evening shows. So this is where your evening entertainment will be. That includes cabaret shows and things like that. Here's my tips. If you are coming in late, as I often do, the best, most likely chance that you will have to get a seat is going to be up there. You can enter from the fifth floor. If you are looking for the best seat, I would recommend seating down in this area. Now this is not rocket science. You can choose your own seating areas, but I am telling you that at the end of the night, when you've arrived late, the best chances to get a seat are right back over there. All right, the theater is very nice. You'll also have some other ship presentations inside of this room. 
But as you look around, it is a very grand experience. I'll show you what some of the chairs looks like in case you want to know how it is. You can see that they're meant for you to bring your drinks and beverages. There's little beverage stands right there and seats for people to sit along the way. One thing I've said before is how much I love to eat when I'm on a cruise. And one place that's almost always open is the pool grill located right here behind me. I'll show you the hours that it's open and we'll take a little look at it right now. This is the pool grill menu. And they have beef hot dog, beef hamburger, beef cheeseburger. They'll really make any combination of these that you want. It is open from about 11 in the morning until 6 p.m. And the reason that that 6 p.m. happens is because then the buffet is open. And so the buffet opens by that time, but you can get meals here. It is a great time to come between lunch and dinner. And that's your key thing, is to be able to know that you can use this pool grill type area between lunch and dinner. By the way, did I already talk about the ping pong table? This is where the ping pong table is located. And it's a lot of fun to play. They've tucked it away here, as on most of these ships, it's a little bit immune to wind, so it's fun to play. I had a really nice afternoon here playing ping pong with my brother-in-law. That was fun. It says that the open play is only from 9.15 to 5 p.m. Oh, I do need to tell you something. Hold on. So let's talk about this. My room is on the ninth floor. We are on the 10th floor. I would not do that again. The reason is that I can hear people banging and bouncing and walking around. It's fine, it's not prohibitive, but if I could choose again, I would choose the eighth or the seventh or even the sixth floor for my room. That's a little bit of a pro tip. Know that if you choose the ninth floor, you may hear people banging around above you. Pro tip. Let's see if they'll let me into the buffet. It's not supposed to open for a few more minutes but we'll see if we can go peek inside of the Ocean View Cafe to get an idea of what will be for dinner tonight at the buffet. Ocean View Cafe, let's go. Oh, well, we gotta start at the ice cream place. Is the ice cream thing open? Let's see. The ice cream over here, let me just see if it is open. He's laying them all out. Oh my gosh. It's the new setup. You're about to see the new new, the new flavors for tonight. By the way, all of these are free and included with, hello, included with your cruise. You do not have to pay extra for that ice cream. So pro tip, definitely go there. I showed you the gelateria before. That is not included, not free. Oh wow, the dessert is open here at the buffet. Let's go take a look. Look at the desserts that I'm gonna show you. Oh my gosh, people are already starting to line up. That's hilarious just for the desserts. It is gonna be real nice. Now all of these, once again, all included. These are free desserts that you can enjoy tonight with your dinner. Look at these. I hope you're getting excited. Strawberry cake, that looks, let me zoom in on that. That looks really nice. Also coconut and the chocolate dome. Wow, really nice. This is the buffet. We're here at the Ocean View Cafe on the 10th floor. It also is a nice place, by the way. I watched it this morning. I'll show you some of that footage. I watched some of the glaciers this morning. So if you're coming on an Alaska cruise. Well, while we're waiting for them to set up for dinner tonight, let me go ahead and talk to you about the beverage stations that are up all over the Ocean View Cafe. This is one of those beverage stations. I'll zoom in here to give an example. All right, on cruise ships, if you cruise a lot, you already know this, that there's always some ice. There's always some water. You got your juices here. Here's lemonade, apple juice, fruit punch, and orange passion guava. And then you have your coffee set up over here. Now this one has coffee. This has hot water. Oh, sorry, what is that one? I think that one is unset up, but that's coffee. Usually it's decaf coffee and hot water, and then a tea selection. So can you see the teas that there are? Having been on many cruises, I can tell you the tea selection here is very nice, and it is very stocked up. We've got Darjeeling, Earl Grey, English Breakfast, many other teas. There's some instant coffee down there, as well as your sugar choices. 
So these are the beverage stations, and this area, all of this is open 24 hours a day. So if you're coming down to check this out, know that you can get beverages like that. You can make yourself a cup of tea. What I like to do is to come up and make some chamomile tea before bed, a little bit of peppermint tea perhaps, and then in the morning I love green tea, Darjeeling, I'll have some coffee with the cream and stuff like that. Well, we're walking backwards now to the back of the ship so that I can show you the pizza area. There's a pizza area that's open, gosh, I think it's open more than anything else. And there's fresh pizza prepared. Let's take a look at that now. The pizza section, let's take a look over here and see what pizza is open. Wow, the barbecue chicken pizza. It looks like they have just put some new one out. Now this pizza, I wanna note, you can get pizza many hours of the day and it's why this is a unique selection to know about because you can come back here at the very back of the buffet and get a little bit of pizza. You can see also that there's gluten-free pizza. I'll say that the cruise line, this ship has done a really good job of offering gluten-free options. Many of the places have it. Now, what does this say? Wow, there's ramen tonight. We're gonna be looking at the buffet now to see what is available this evening for dinner here at the buffet, the ramen station. You can see they're starting to prepare it. I'll zoom in a little bit. If you like ramen, this is a place for you because they're gonna make these noodles right fresh for you over here at the ramen station. We're at the back of the buffet and I'll work my way more towards the front, but let me show you about some of the options available. This is a nice time to snack, to come up for the nice food options. Now the buffet tonight is a sea day and the buffet opened at 6 p.m. tonight, but sometimes the buffet does open a little bit earlier, so be aware of that. This is one of the only fruit stands during dinner time. By the way, something that I really appreciate is the watermelon. I always start my day on cruises with watermelon. It is a luxury that I enjoy when I'm on the cruise ships. This is the grilled favorites area. And you can see that they've got some chicken, some grilled fish available. I'll take a little peek at that over here. Let me just take a quick little photo to show you some of the grilled fish options. I've really enjoyed the grilled fish and the chicken is nice as well. So it does not appear that the Indian food is set up for tonight. Maybe it's in one other area. Ooh, let's take a peek at the orange chicken. Let me just show you that because that looks real tasty. Good selections here. These are roasted potatoes. There's some cauliflower and then vegetable noodles. Nice. Well, the dessert area, I showed you already before the dessert area. So I'm gonna conclude my buffet tour. But don't forget that you wanna stop at the ice cream on your way out. This is free and it is included in yours. I love free stuff, can you tell? One of my favorite things to do on a cruise is to get escargot. Now this is on the celebrity ships at Main Dining. You can order the escargot, that's snails, every single night. Let's show this here. I order the snails. Now my pro tip is I also order them with this little piece of bread because I use that bread to scoop the snails on and then to enjoy it. It is one of these things that I only do on cruises. I only eat escargot, but it brings me so much joy. Well, I'm going to wrap up my video. I've had such a great time here on the Celebrity Millennium. This is a ship I've been on more than any others, and I hope this video has been helpful. Will you do me one favor? Will you leave me a comment? Just let me know when you're going on a cruise or say hello. It's one of my favorite parts to hear from people who watch my videos. My name is Nick Gray. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great cruise. Now for the snails.